Hey, what's up, you drafty windows, and welcome to the Deck Build Challenge, where each episode two combatants face off with strange theme decks. I'm your host and duelist, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, a very special guest, a f- former Yugi tuber. Are you still a Yugi tuber? Mm, I wouldn't say so. He's, Not he's, really. He, you're a Yugi tuber in spirit. There you go. <laughs> You'll always be there. You're you're in the um the Hall of Fame as far as I'm considered, Mister oh, well, Kamina Cat himself, <laughs> who is I believe doing art commissions, working on a game, doing a whole bunch of stuff, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything. I was like, I don't know if I can really promote anything here because I only have like a week left before I move and I'm going to close commissions. So yeah. like, I'm assuming this won't come out like day we're recording. No, it'll be so. like a few weeks. Yeah. So but I, can, just, I, I can like give them your Twitter and then if commissions open up, you'll post there, right? Yeah. So you can you can go do that. if Yeah. You wanna go check that out. Commissions. And yeah, since yeah. since uh, we, we, you know, we just kind of thought, you know, you had a little time before you had to move. We try out this new booster draft duel that you can do on the, uh, the, the EDO Pro, which is really weird. I played one of them and the way they've implemented it is kind of strange. So here okay. you, you have not done this before, right? I, I've, I'm going in totally blind. So okay. first to like pick a card is what I'm doing. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you'll see once it, it begins. Like, it starts the duel, we have our decks, and then it immediately activates that card. Because in order to, to do rules, it has to do it. And now you can see it's uh, slowly destroying your deck. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, man. Like, there goes your deck. I don't feel There so goes good. your extra deck. Yeah, if you're going to do this, play a 40-card deck. If you play 60, it takes longer. <laughs> I think I might have had 43. Was it the deck we loaded in? Yeah. Oh, I Whatever deck you loaded in, it has to take all of the cards out of play first. <laughs> well, does this... that matter then? Because I think it was 43 because it was Sylvan's. Nope. And then it gets 45 random on. cards. <laughs> and I think these are like battle. This is battle pack rules. Have you ever played with the battle pack draft? Uh, I've played Battle Pack, but I didn't know their specific rules. The, the the only specific rule is basically type doesn't matter. So if you have a card that says, like, uh, like Salvage can basically get any 1500 or less attack monster out of your graveyard. Oh, okay, that makes it, that makes it better. So is yeah. this me choosing one card and then you choose one? Yeah, you've, you've got a pack, basically. It opens up one and you pick one card from that, knowing I that hate- I will get to look at the rest and get second pick. And then I get third and so on? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've done a draft like this before. Okay, let me... It's one of those things that's, like, super fun to do, but in real life, it's like, you gotta spend, like, $40 on cards, and then you can do it once. <laughs> that, yeah, it's very true. And then you have that draft deck, and it's like, oh... It's like, I guess you could shuffle it around and try to do it again, but it's just... It's just not the same. Nah. Let's so many see. choices. Oh, there's band cards, too, so that'll be... Yeah. Right. I'm not sure exactly how the ban list works with this. I'm going to take this guy. Actually, okay. Okay. Ooh, an extra deck monster. Oh, but it takes three. Fuck that. I'm yeah, go. some of... <laughs> like, I see a giant soldier of steel rank three on top yeah. of the deck, but I, I don't know how good that would be. It'd be kind of hard to make. Yeah. Hmm. Typically, I'd say go for, like, removal. Probably. I mean, it depends. That's the thing is you kind of have to build your strategy as you go, decide what you want to do. Yeah. So like, yeah, I think I'm going to go for this. Like, I I just know and once, like, we're going to be doing somewhat caveman Yu-Gi-Oh, so you want, like, removal and big attack. Yeah, it's going to be like GOAT format, but with fundamental differences. This will be be a very different from GOAT format. (laughs) GOAT format, but with Ixie monsters. Ooh, I wonder if I should try that. It'd be interesting, like, not not like any other modern card, just GOAT format, but you can also use extra deck monsters. All the modern ones. There, is, there was a format like that for a while, I can't remember what the name they gave it, but it was basically like GOAT format, but they slowly added a few things, like they added like, you know, Z- like Zen Mains is now in the game, or they added like, you know, like a Synchro monster here or there. Yeah. It's like, now you can use your scapegoat monster. for even more things. Right. Uh, let's see. 
decisions. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. Especially at first, you like literally have nothing to go off of, so it's like, uh, I guess this seems all right. Whatever. I'm looking over on the top of my deck. I got this psychic sword. Looks straight yeah. up like the uh, the ship from the Avengers. It kind of does. It's weird. <laughs> All right, I'm, t I'm taking the Prima. I'm gonna. I'm worried that I'm gonna run out of monsters. Um. So let's see here. No, that sucks. Um, that definitely sucks. <laughs> that de fuck you took everything good already. Um. <laughs> Oh, you didn't even see the first one I took, right? No, that was a complete secret. Yep. I you have one too. card that is an utter surprise to me. It was a good one. What does this fish do? Something about banishing from the graveyard, and I'm like, I'm not sure if we'll get that far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just want big boys and, like, removal, pretty much. Just chungus like, out of ten. Even negation, like, if you notice, like, if you think about goat format, there's like basically no negation unless you like play a very specific build. Yeah. Like people don't place uh, judgment, <laughs> but like you can, but they don't. You can, yeah, you could, but it's like, fuck, you're gonna pay four thousand life points to stop like a one thousand attacker from hitting you. <laughs> exactly, and your opponent's gonna be like, okay, a ring of destruction, you lose. Like, yeah. yeah. Good job. Good job, doofus. You played yourself. Yeah, you know, life points actually kind of matter. It's neat. <laughs> and yeah, what was it? I, I mentioned to you, like, you could change the time limit. You definitely want to do that on this. The first time I tried it, we, we I just had the regular time limit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. And it, it starts counting the time limit as soon as you start picking cards. Which, I mean, I guess if you want turbo fast, just be like, I, no, you don't get time to read the cards. You just got to pick. That would be very stressful. <laughs> Stress level zero. So we still have like 8k, okay, we still have 8k life, so yeah. that's not different. All the other rules are the same. I don't know, you Taking mentioned that there were banned cards, but I didn't see one, so I assume you took it. I took, yeah, there was a premature burial. You, you would have seen it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, never mind, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, there we go. I'm gonna take that. Uh, Mr. Sandman, negate me a trap. Give me a trap, okay. Well, in that case, I'm not going to take any trap monsters. I'm just going <laughs> to... There you go. Big That's brain, the strategy. brain. Yep. Um, Five head. Fuck it, I'll take the fish. Why not? Friller Rabka. Never seen play before. Today's right. your day, though. I feel like nobody wants this uh, hero champion guy. <laughs> well, no. Of course not. Um, well, I'm not How taking that trap. go through? You gotta choose. You gotta take a trap or you gotta take a thing. I'll take the cheerleader. She's doing, like, the weirdest pose, too. It's, yeah. I think, like, originally they wanted to make her, like, a basketball, like, slam dunker. That's one of those where if you, like, just look at the card, just glance at it, it looks pretty good. Like, the art looks good. But if you actually, like, look at her arms and stuff, it's like, oh, that's, like, not... Yeah, the longer you right. look at it, the more you're like, oh, oh my. Like, her arms are breaking. Um, <laughs> what is happening? All right. Pack number two. So did you start with this one? Yep. Okay. Chain Dog. <laughs> Metabo Shark. Is this the Meg? Chain Dog. He's my favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Chain Dog in the house. He's like, like... Fucking fusion summon between Snoop and Two Chains. <laughs> Someone activated polymerization. Uh, let's see. Can I get can I get some fan art in the chat? Someone want to uh, fuse those two together? Ooh, so Herald of Greenlight can just negate a spell, pretty much. Yeah, that seems okay. That's. I remember mm. the first time I was playing this, I was sitting here like, "Fuck!" I picked like a spellcaster thing, and then I kept trying to get spellcasters, and then someone was like, "You know, the types don't matter, right?" I'm like, "What?" Yeah, everything's just omni type. Yeah. Um. Okay, that's useless. Fucking Gen X ally Bell Flame. I love Herald of Green Light. He's just like a ball with feet. All the Heralds are. They're just like but like this one especially. He's got a really good pose. Like we should have a wiffle ball archetype. Why not? <laughs> he really is though. He really is a wiffle ball. Um. But somehow someone put a light bulb inside. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna take... What does this guy do? Yeah, that's useless. Okay, I'm taking this and if guy. If this crashes after we finish, it's gonna be super disappointing. It's good. You know what? It, the journey was more important. People can then look at all our decks, just hover over them, decide which one was the better built deck. There you go. And they'll determine it for us. <laughs> the the, cra- the court of public opinion. Like I said, I, 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 test, I tested one day and it didn't work, and then I played the other day and it worked, and now I'm thinking, like, I wonder if it has to do with the banned cards, maybe because I have it on the TCG ban list. Ooh, mm, I don't know if that would crash it, though. Yeah. Like, I feel like it would give you a message in that case. Something, I don't know. They didn't exactly, I reported it on their, their thing in, uh, like, the, the EDO Pro Discord server. Mm-hmm. And they're like, uh, draft duels aren't exactly a high priority at the moment. <laughs> true, true. There's about 12 other things I'd like to do before that. Ooh, spellbook of wisdom. But you know, if, if this crashes, then what we can do is just each pick the uh, the same structure deck mm-hmm. and use that. Oh, okay. I got you. We'll, we'll have a structure deck duel. That'll be like a draft duel, just different. Either we'll way, we don't have to build guys. decks. That's the important part. That's good. I think the only thing I have built right now is Sylvans, anyways. Yeah. Um, and maybe Mermails. Let's see. I have several things build. I think they're probably better than Sylvans. Mermails, not so sure. <laughs> Mermails yeah. can be brutal. They can. It's it's Mermails is so weird because it's like very rarely been meta, but you you can never sleep on Mermails. Now they're always like a solid tier two or tier yeah. three. They're, like, not quite Cyber Dragon levels. The problem is, like, Sylvans are similar, but, like, you can just brick and immediately die. That's yeah. the problem. It's, like, pretty easy to brick, but, like, you can pop off. You just gotta be kind of lucky. I don't know, even if you pop off with Sylvans, what's their, like, end game? Rank 8. Rank 8. <laughs> I feel like there are better ways to do that. Maybe if you want to play, like, Galaxy, Blue Eyes. That's true. I guess, like, the appeal is just being able to make rank 8s forever, basically. Ah. Yeah. Well, now now I, like, mixed it with the, the new Rika stuff, so... That's such a weird... What were they called before? They were, like, Snow Petal or something. Snowflower, which I liked more, which yeah. always happens, but, yeah. And now they're, like, Rika, and I'm like, that sounds like a disease. Yeah. It sounds <laughs> yes, it like, does. oh, I got a little Rika down in my, like, my lumbago. Like yeah. <laughs> Either that or maybe something someone says, like, in between a verse when they're rapping. Yo, Ricka Ricka. <laughs> what? Yeah. 2006. Uh, let's it's, see. It's rap this... protocol. You've got to yell out a random random year. 94. you got to do the year you were born. Or a car came out. Ah. Uh-huh. Um, if this card is in your graveyard, you push on this card. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, no, that's not very good. Um, okay. Sorry, that took a while. Took the warrior returning alive. Yeah, because it just recovers anything you want. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for the most beat down. Beat down out of ten. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, don't steal my idea. You play a control deck. <laughs> well, it's or... like, I was trying to get, like, attack reduction, big monsters, and then removal. It's sort of like the three pinnacles of, of Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Well, it's one of those things, like, there could be, this could be really strategic if I was, like, paying attention to, like, everything that was there, and I was like, okay, I know he's going to have that, and then whenever it comes back to me, I could notice what was missing. Right. But, uh, in talking to you, I've completely forgot about what was there and what wasn't. That's all good. I'm gonna take Dodger Dragon just because he's big. He's just 1900. He's just a big spiky boy. Okay, and then I've got, you know what, fuck it, I'm taking that. Uh, All monsters take... left. Bell flame. Yep. Uh, fuck. We'll become nineteen eventually. Matabo has eighteen hundred. <laughs> All right, I'll take the defender. If it was oh, breaker, I'd be hype. Stupid dog made me look bad. Ooga, booga, booga. <laughs> Maybe if I had a synchro, I would care. But they're like, why would you put this in the battle pack with no synchros? Ooh. There's just some cards in here that I'm, like, seeing from, like, old-ass formats that I'm like, ooh, that's a good one. Just All a right, one, one-off dragon ruler. Oh, 
All right, all right. Yeah. Oh God! Could you imagine? Crazy. You just get like a blaster. Yeah. <laughs> and a that blaster would, would... when attributes don't matter. Yeah, that would just completely make it unfair. Oh yeah, I'm taking that. I need it. I need it. This particular thing that I'm 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 circling with my mouse that the audience can see. Very required. Ooh, card trooper? Hell yes. I thought you were going to take that for sure. The troop dupe and scoop? I don't have anything that's good in the graveyard. But it just becomes 19. <laughs> yeah, but you got a no you card. You draw a card when he dies. Um, let's see. That's so good. What are these? Uh, yada yada. Yada Garasu. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Let's let's not do that actually. There we go. I'm taking a very large stick. <laughs> Why is there two Jack Frosts? Oh, because God. they want you to play at least one. Yeah. They're like, you know you're gonna have to negate those attacks. We're not giving you battle fader. You get a dumpy snowman. As close as you get. Alright. Yep, I'm taking that. I got the Lord Poison plant thing. I just always remember <laughs> scrolling past that when building plant decks. Like, yep, not useful. I don't even know what it does. I just know it's, I've read it several times and it wasn't useful then. When it dies, it revives a monster from grave. Oh. Well, fuck, that might be useful. Yeah, here it will be. <laughs> yeah. In this slow format, unless I get like a cyber dragon or something. Cyber dragon would be very good here. I don't think I've seen a single thing that like special summons just like by itself. Yeah, that's probably intentional. It's all like, if it's Tuesday and your monster is destroyed by battle with a dark monster with 800 defense, <laughs> you could special summon a beast warrior type monster with water attribute from your side deck. <laughs> Gotta remember to put a Sea Lancer in my side then. Uh, let's go with this. Oh wait, fuck, you have the two Sandmans. I shouldn't be picking traps. Well, I forgot. I have to draw them though. True, in a forty-five card deck. Hopefully, it lets us do best two out of three with the same decks, and we don't have to like build them again. Is It'll that... probably ask for um, rematch. Yeah, what was it? I I just got done recording another episode earlier with uh, MBT, mm -hmm. and I I said it. They they don't have like you you don't just set it for like singles or match. They're like, it's one-on-one, -on -one, best of, and then you can just fill in whatever you want. Gotcha. And so I was like, oh, I want to do two duels, best of two. They're like, Joe, the best of two is a single. <laughs> Whoever wins the first one wins the best of two. I'm like, well, you got me there. Oh, this Miracle Lotus card is real bad. Oh, yeah. You read it, and it's like your opponent draws one card, and it's like, do I need to read like, the rest? You lost me, yeah. <laughs> Look, maybe I should take that just in case, and then you'll negate it? Can't? Mm, oh, you have a Sandman, I gotcha. I guess I'm just gonna take these Jack Frosts. Uh, fuck it. I'll take the Miracle Lotus. <laughs> if I can get, like, a Tribute Monster, then I can actually make use of the Jack Frost. Oh, hell yeah, now we're in business. Do we have any... I don't... I've not seen any tribute monsters. Everything's four or lower. I think there's a... I've seen a couple. It's really weird. It's not the same, like, pool of cards every time. I don't know how they randomly decided. But I've, I've built the decks, like, three or four times trying to get it to work, and right. it's always, like, similar, but not exactly the same. Toon Gemini Elf seems good. I'm gonna get that. Just gotta hope you get a Toon World. Well, this one doesn't say it kills itself. It's only if a Toon World on the field is destroyed. Hmm. So that's nice. It, does, it, it has Summoning Sickness, though, which is annoying, but whatever. There's so many good options here. Fuck, I need to take that, though. There's still that Psychic Sword and that Giant Soldier of Steel I have not seen yet. Alright, gonna take the Jane. Fuck, that was my next one. Yeah. It's well, a good I'm one. taking the Thunderbird then. That is also a good one. Oh, kind of Golem, okay. Thunderbird's just like invincible. It's a good card. It's just like anytime he would be killed, he's like, nope, I'm out. 
I'll be back later when you're done being being uh, shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? Evil swarms are another deck where I w- it's not the same as Mermail. It's very format dependent. But whenever anything that's like very reliant on like big level not like main deck monsters, evil swarms would just be like, hey, I'm anti meta for this format. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Yep. I'll do Blue dark eyes is it? Ah, I see. Oh God, yeah. You break out the uh, the Ad Emancipators. I wonder if those would be good against them. Um, I've not tried those yet. They they are like one of the the more fun decks that I've played in a while, and they're very powerful. Hmm. They have that sort of like burning abyss random chance element where you know you're you're activating Dante and you're like mill three baby. What am I getting? <laughs> yep, the light sworn effect. Yeah. Except with this, it's like the excavate, so you don't lose the stuff. If like you, you excavate and you don't get any rocks or whatever, it's like okay, well, it's still in the deck. Um, right. Uh, equip it. Fucking metal morph. <laughs> metal morph. Who would play metal morph? No, no, I'm going here. to try that. I didn't even know that was removal. It is. It's just really dumb removal. <laughs> It wouldn't be played in any other format, but here, today, on the deck build challenge, if this works. Wait a minute, Metal Morph might be okay. Target one face up once from the field. Gains surrender attack and defense. If if it attacks, it gains attack equal to half the attack at the attack target. Oh, I thought it just... I'm gonna take it. (laughs) It gains 300 and then it gains half? I mean, in this format, like, why not? Huh. It's just weird. I just I I saw it said three hundred. I thought it also like negated a spell or something dumb like that. Nah, yeah, it's like a little, like half honest thing. It's half of an honest. Yeah, it's just an on. <laughs> or it's a, just an on. It's just an a S. hun. Just a hun. Yeah. Genghis Khan comes running out of nowhere. What? What? What about the huns? Plant food chain. Oh, this. This card is the fucking Vor art. I'm, I'm not about this. <laughs> what does this do? Plants are like such a... They're, they're, they have such a wide variety. It's like when you look at warriors, it's like, yeah, it's guys and girls in armor, whatever. And then plants, it's like, well, some of them are like little girls with umbrellas. And some are clearly it, Vor. <laughs> right. Well, it's like I love in fucking Sylvans. Like they have like such a, a wide variety and like the big bird I or yeah a... it's like this is clearly a winged beast but it's a plant for some reason yeah like i have a very large tree that would like to say hello right you should put pl- plant in parentheses yeah in quotes in quotes it's it's a metaphorical plant identifies as a plant if this card is just rainbow card okay fuck it i'll take the fucking vor card <laughs> This card on the field becomes Yumi. Um, uh, fuck it. Let's let's go for that. Got the new like deep sea field spell that becomes Umi. Like, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna play that or not. In Mermails, it's like it seems almost really good, but not. I, I remember reading it and being like, I don't understand how this is helpful. It's like. It's kind of good, but like only if you have a lot of other shit like already going on. Yeah. I was like, I feel like I need to understand this archetype. Ooh, you're sleeping on the Gorgonic Golem. Yeah. All right. I think it's, I forget if it's five packs. I haven't been keeping track. Oh, wait, it's nine cards. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 54, 36, 40. Okay. So yeah, five packs. So if you started, then I think this is the last one, right? Probably. It seems like it. We've been going for a while. Yep, there's that psychic sword. Um, hmm. Ooh. Choices, choices. And another Miracle Lotus to add to my collection. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take that again. I feel like this is not the place for Miracle Fertilizer. I don't know. It's it's such it's a it's a very low special summon format. It's true. It's like you're only gonna get to use it once, and you don't get to normal summon that turn. Oh, you don't. 
Oh, I'm yeah, glad you I get didn't normal pick it. summon the turn you use it. I thought it was just you. You like every it stays on the field, and every turn you get to special summon. It does that, but it's like connected to the monster, like Call of the Haunted. So if one dies, the other dies, and then yeah, you can't normal summon the turn you use the effect. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why Sylvan sort of like uh, snowball, as it were. You know, you start out slow, but then like once you have three firths on the field, you can like you know, you can summon three things every turn. Special summon like crazy, baby. And if you overlay, it doesn't go. So, um, well, see, whoever gets that giant soldier of stone, they've got the clear advantage. <laughs> they've got the high ground. Yeah. High ground, Anakin. High <laughs> ground. Um, let's see here. You know what? Fuck it. You're gonna sleep on the miracle fertilizer. I'm taking it. All right. You'll see, this will be the card that wins me the game. Alright, I'm going to take the Psychic Sword. Um, I'm going to take that. Yeah, comeback card. I keep. For, I was like, I need to not take traps, and I think I've taken more traps than anything. I think my deck is like 90% traps. Oh, Electromagnetic Bagworm seems okay. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever said that sentence before. Probably not. See, that's an insect, and it's like clearly not. Um, it's just a motherboard. Yep, let's go for that. At this point, I'm like, consistency. Have I picked something before? Just pick more of it. Right. My deck may be bad, but at least it'll be consistently bad. Hmm. Destructo -to -to Tron. Okay. Destructo Tron. You got it. What does the vampiric koala do? It Gains life points good. equal to how much uh, damage it deals, I believe. Just take oh. dodger dragons. You could try... Okay, I'll try that. Why not? It's I better than... The dodger dragon says it negates... You can't activate counter traps? I don't think I've seen a single counter trap. <laughs> I get the koala, apparently. Oh, no. We got one more. Um, hmm. Hmm. You need an 18 beater. That's not bad. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Let's see what we got here. This has to be the last one, because they we got the, the, the psychic sword from mine, and here's the... Giant Soldier of Steel for years, so maybe it's six and I just suck Ooh. at math. Skill Successor seems pretty decent. Um, wind Up Juggler? There are I think other I got Wind Up those. cards? It's removal. And what's this mm. fishy dude? Oh, he just does piercing. He just does piercing. <laughs> Um, cool. Yep, we're going for that. I got a whole bunch of equip card related things. I'm gonna mm. be like Gear Freed the Iron Knight over here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna take Exploder Dragon for sure. I mean, how could you not? He's got a bomb. His name is Exploder Dragon. Hmm. Bitch See, Kawakimaru Drago is like normally good, but it's actually kind of not here. There's not going to be a lot of summoning. Oh, I forget what exactly it does. It says neither player can special summon light or dark monsters, which I guess oh, just okay. means neither player can special summon for this format. But like, that's not that's not terrible. I don't think the attribute are the same, so I think it just keeps you from light and dark still. Oh, that's extremely not good. Um, it, it probably has high attack. It does have high attack. It's 1900. And you can reveal like any monster in your hand to keep it alive, so. Right. There's that. Um, yes, what does this do? That does help a lot. Um, I'm going to take that. Hmm. I'm going to be a successor to my skill. I like it has the swamp and the lava battle guard on it, as if those have ever been relevant. Ooh, cursed armaments. That seems. That seems not bad. It's like it could buy a Drakmord, but slightly worse. <laughs> yeah. This is a bully card. Um, let's see here. 
Yep, I'll just deal with that. I'll take the, ju the juggler then. Alright, what has the highest attack out of the remaining one of these? Um, fuck, I'll take the Drago, why not? Alright, what does this fish thing do? <laughs> it does piercing. Piercing, I guess I'm taking the bug then. Yep, the bug does piercing. Um, Alright, there you go. Fish or giant soldier of stone? Oh, it is two level threes. Let's see. It can yeah. have high defense and protect you. Oh, damn it. I'm good. All right. Let's hope this works because we spent 37 minutes doing it. Holy God God damn it! Son of a whore! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, connection has been lost. Okay, so are we going to try this again with structured X? Uh, what are we doing now? Here, one second. Okay, so we're going to speed through this? Yeah, we're going to speed through. We're going to try it again. We're going to okay. pick super quick. I'm just going to fast forward through it so if people want to see what we're picking, we are. But we're just going to we're just gonna try to turbo through this. See if it works again. And if not, then we'll just do a structure deck or something. Okay, here goes. So, how's the kids? <laughs> they're, they're, they're not existing yet. <laughs> Ah, shame. I remember mm. back when my kids didn't exist. Good times. Good times. <laughs> good times. Oh, Lord. Just have the attack of stuff. Yep. And then you get those weird attack numbers. I've got 922. God. Is that a time? No, that's my attack. Evil swarm numbers. <laughs> oh, so the gentle mander comes to me, then, does he? Mm-hmm. Tadpole ass motherfucker with his stripy socks and bow tie. Dapper as hell. Oh, yeah. Offerings of the Doomed is one of those cards. Like, I always feel like it should be better than it is because it's just like targeted removal for no cost. Except next turn is draw phase. Yeah. Hmm. There's some deck that really didn't need the draw phase, I guess. Yeah. Or if you had some way to just like, if you could like make a solid board and then also search a quick play spell. Hmm. Be like, I can end on a monster negate, a spell negate, and offerings of the doomed. I wonder I wonder what people would think if I just put out of nothing, like a full episode of just us like picking cards and not actually playing. <laughs> just never got, actually got to the game. Nope. Just, the entire thing is just reviewing <laughs> battle pack cards. We're just like, talking about what we would play. Like, and this is what I would play. If I had it! <laughs> if I had it! God, um... Yeah, that Miracle's Wake, like, it seems kind of decent because it could special summon a monster, but it's like, if it was destroyed by battle, it's probably just going to be destroyed by battle again. That, yeah, that's my exact thought process, because I almost took it, like, twice. And I'm like, it's not as though, like, I think you took the Alucard, so maybe if it was level 3, you could make, like, a thing with it. That's true. I'm going to take the Fair other one. last unicorn. Um, I love the Gamil's just, like... <laughs> A poor man's very much a poor man's on. Yeah, he's just Torbjorn. It's just straight up attack. Torbjorn. Yeah. I got the Infernal Gainer. Wicked Gainer, dude. Oh, Miracle's Boy, Wake. Jim Carrey. Oh? Alright, let's 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 see how it works. Show me potato salad. Nope. I hate, I hate EDO Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Yeah, you should make the, the thumbnail for this, like, overworked. The guy just getting blasted in the face by the computer. <laughs> oh, I'm considering it. That'd be, that'd be a good one. I just have no idea what I'm going to title this episode, like, not draft. <laughs> I guess so. A t draft attempt. Draft. I gotta, I gotta find a way to, like, draft with, like, it crossed out and be like, uh, starter deck 2019. Oh, wait, actually, don't click on that. I still have it set to booster duel. Mm. Turn that off. They have a concentration duel on here. Right. Okay, fuck it. We're just gonna do, we're just gonna do starter deck 2019, because that's, that's what we have. The draft oh. duels are not working. Instead, we've got whatever, whatever this is. This is, this, we're gonna have fun. We're having fun here, right? We're having fun, damn it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna find a way to have fun. It's we've been right. here like an hour. 
It's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> Just picking cards. I I, no, I I feel more bad for you. Oh, that's, I, that's fine. I invited you on for all this special times, and it's just... Okay, no, this is fine. Set three pass. I can deal with this. What the hell do I even have? What are these things? <laughs> what are these cards? <laughs> At this least when you video? draft, you kind of know. Um, oh, okay. Um... I mean, a lot of these have been pretty staple-ish so far, the ones that I opened with, at least. That's my extra pick. Hmm. Oh, you just get a link one, a link two, and a link three. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Discard Leotron. Special summon Threshold Borg. Okay. <laughs> Will he ever see play? I mean, I guess discard a Cyburst to get a level seven might be useful. Okay. Okay. Normal summon Lady Debug. Add Foxy. <laughs> Shame. So I've risked all and lost them, huh? Um, let's see. Still get your Sorch. I get Ah Sorch. What is this? Also, to be clear for the audience, I didn't look at this deck beforehand, so I don't know what's in here. Oh, okay. I glanced at it and just saw it had a bunch of one ofs, including a bunch of like staple cards. I'm like, this will be close to 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 goat format. Yeah, so I do. I don't know what the Sangen is gonna get me, but uh, I'm sure it'll get me something. Decent. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same as me, where I'm just like, everything's gotta be somewhere, man. Um. Okay. Let's see what we got here. It's like Take I've got that. I got okay. I got some stuff. I'm still not dead. I just used my yeah, I used three cards, but I got one in the process. Scarecrow. I'm guessing I know Mirror Force isn't here. Mirror yeah, that that seems like it would definitely be something to have. Like Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, and uh Bottomless. So this is this is one of those goat format things where it's like, I know you have these things, you know I have these things. True, so I have to be careful of your bottomless when, when, when there are set cards in the field. Yeah, when assuming I have some kind of, you know, set spell traps on the field. Unfortunately, you started with the Paleozoic board. I started with the uh, Burning Abyss board. True. <laughs> right, let's do this guy. A level two or lower from your hand or deck. Broken. Bit wrong. Hey, look at that guy. A new species found in electronic space. There's not much information about it. Thanks, <laughs> flavor text. I appreciate it. You cool. always know how to describe things. Um, that's not that big. You could make a link spider. I can make a link spider. It has more attack. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Go! Oh, you the fool! Effect. That's hilarious. I have a swift scarecrow! Rude. Okay. That's fine. He's like Battle Fader, except he doesn't need to dirty himself by even getting on the field. <laughs> directly to the grave. What? Throw okay. me directly in the garbage. Um, okay. Normal summon. Widget Kid. Special mm. summon. Mmm. What, you got something? Book of Moon. <laughs> Book of Moon. Now at three. Cyanet Crosswipe. What in the... Tribute. Oh my god. Um. Hmm. You're about to be so angry. Destroy face down. Sure. Get rid of that mirror force. Oh, dark bro. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Dark Bride. I should have picked a monster, then I could have drawn something. Alright, there you go. You get oh, yeah, my you get Frogger or Text Change. They call it Text Changer, but you know that's a goddamn Frogger. It definitely is. So I like how there's like no removal. Um hmm. Yeah, like you I... have to attack it. Yeah. And just deal with whatever powerful normal monster I have in here. True. Truth be told, I don't know exactly what's in here. There's two normal monsters in the deck, it seems like. Two At least. Guys. I think there's three. Oh, okay. Surely you can beat over them with your with your Draco net, though. Ah, 
Oh, I just noticed his tail is the Wi-Fi symbol. Who's? Oh, Drake yeah, it is. Yeah. Drake. Ram Clouder. Um, yes. I activate that effect. Yeah, you got Digitron, Bitron. Oh, and, uh, Leotron. Oh. He's a big oh. boy. <laughs> he is a big boy. Hmm, okay. A territorial electronic monster that guards its own domain. Unlike other monsters that just sort of let whoever into their domain. It's like, yeah, that's fine. Well, hmm, okay. Guess we just do that. And... Hmm... Choose wisely, Mr. Kamana. There are many surprises in store for you. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, my extra deck. No, I don't think I will summon a Link Spider. Thank you. You sh Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm just going to get over the biggest thing. In case you have something that, like, increases its... I get the dark bribe, and then oh wait! Thank, oh, oh did, you just, did you just draw it? No. no. I was just saying I I hit your dark bribe with my one thing of like removal, only to be hit with the mirror force next turn. Where hmm. are my traps, card games? I don't know. Joe needs traps too. Send them to my PO box. <laughs> don't take that out of context. Oh God. Uh. No, oh, what am I doing? I can just do this. I can just put that guy there. Normal summon swift scarecrow. It's the most optimal play. But why? Wait, what? Go away. Are you afraid of a set card? Yes. Weirdo. You're a weirdo, Kamina. It's gonna be Penguin Soldier. It's gonna be Hain Hain. <laughs> You're just paranoid. Um, let's see. Okay, I got this. I'm, are you ready for the comeback of the century? I think so, because I don't know. What don't you I dare could... set another card. <laughs> I could make the, the decode talker guy if I wanted to. But... I was wondering why you didn't. Well, I wanted to bounce your guy. I mean, the previous turn. Oh. But yeah, I, I guess you did. You did need to build up. Well, I set the mirror for us. Yeah, so you could still, so you'd still attack because everything yeah. was smaller. You're too smart for me. I'll have to play you in goat format sometime, so you can just stomp me utterly. That'd be fun, I like I'm like I'm like, I'm terrible at goat format. I'm so used to this game where I'm like, shit everything onto the field, use all your resources. And yeah, you like, gotta be a little more careful. Ooh. Alright. What is this? To be fair though, you still like goat format is definitely more skillful, but you can just draw the Trinity and you kinda win. Like yeah. There you go. Photon Thrasher. Prepare your photons for thrashing. No. Yes! Okay, I don't go quietly into the night. There you go. I still have a chance. Um, set. What does this do? And I'll set a field spell. Oh god, okay. Your move, holy man. Ugh, um. You don't even know what the field spell does. What if it's a field spell trap? And I can activate it when you least suspect it. That's a new one they could make. <laughs> I remember mm. when I was, uh, my the first like tournament I played in, I almost got disqualified because I set a, um, I set a field spell in the spell trap zone. Because I thought if you, I didn't think you could set field spells. So I thought you set them in the field spell and then when you activate them, they go to the field spell. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> I could see, I could see the logic there. Um... Okay. Flip summon Raikou. Oh, yeah. That's what I was worried about. Destroy a card, you bet. And lose three of my most important... Though, there's my bottomless. Well... There's your Link Slayer. Yep. Everything I hoped for. And everything I need. Flip Frozen. Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys are Flip Frozen now. Um. Oh, okay. yeah, you can just link away and then check it out. Yeah, Sandgan search. Boom. 
Now I get to see all the things that you see. Is there anything I can just special summon from my hand? Do no, you see what I see, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I'll take this one. <laughs> That's what I took too. <laughs> Behold, oh, 1400 damn. attack. Now wow. he's unstoppable. <laughs> oh man, I really need this card. So I can like link someone again. Oh yeah, you could show <laughs> the thing three card extra deck. Sorry, sorry. Fuck. Lady Debug. I was a fool. <laughs> I could have waited for my Sangin search now. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that was my hope of like maybe if I set this field spell card and I have no other traps, he'll destroy it, and then I'll get to shuffle his uh decode talker back into the extra deck. <laughs> right. That's the only thing I could think of. It's really weird when you have a field spell that has like a floating effect, you know? Where or not I know. I, what do you call it's it when it's like them. if you destroy it, something bad happens? That's just like Cosmo's whole thing. Like you just never want to get rid of the Emerald City because it always fucking does its floating effect. Oh, I can return anything. Um, put Link Slayer back, please. Ooh, I would like to draw him at some point. I need to draw that field spell. Um, okay. Tactics. There we go. Summon make, Digitron. Make Link Spider. Digitron, make Link Spider. Link Spider, activate. Summon the Ooh. Bitron from my hand. <laughs> there you go, now you can make a decode guy. Um, I thought I could. He, uh, oh. he takes three effect monsters. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> So you got a lot of blockers. Why you? would they give you this combo if you couldn't actually use it to make the Exodia? Oh, thank God. Oh, great. I mean, not that it helps you. You don't even have a Link monster. Oh, but yeah, I guess you could shuffle them back now, can't you? Yep. Fuck. In three turns, you're going to have another Exodia. Why do I keep calling it Exodia? Decodia. Deco <laughs> Decode yes, Talker. Exodia. Whatever. Every card is Exodia now. I'm just like a boomer. Oh, is yeah, that that Exodia? Coming. Kids are talking about? <sighs> it's 200 attack. I have the frog, but it's 100 attack. Ugh. You know, I think it was really, really brave of them to make Lady Debug. She's like an amputee. You look at her legs. Oh, God. It's like, yeah. Representation. You get woke or you get broke. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Alright, so. End phase. Okay. I can do this as long as I get a monster. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Stuff. This is unfortunate. Alright, well, I guess put Link Spider back. Yeah. I'll get to that eventually. Hello. We just gotta uh, stop you no. from building anything. I gotta hope whatever this is is less than 1400 attack. Uh, it does. The frog. Oh. Oh, and it was Apparently. face down! Oh. Well, I played that wrong. Uh, okay. Set Ooh. a card. I finally got a spell trap! <laughs> what is this? Oh, Your okay. move, holy man. Do this guy. Choose wisely. Gonna have to risk it, because I don't want you to make... Yeah, okay. Book of Moon. I mean, to be fair, I could have done that even if you hadn't attacked. That is true. At least you I still just... got it. I was afraid of Mirror Force. Signet like a... Recovery? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. This this deck is dumb. Um, This card... Hey! Top deck of the century! Rebuild deer. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, that's pretty good. It's got yeah, high man. attack, and it, when it destroys a monster by battle, it does a thing. Not bad, not bad. Um, Can turn this thing around. 
play the uh play the ace attorney music this <laughs> for, for just like three seconds i've never actually played ace attorney so i don't know if that's it's any good it's very good you should get it it's on steam now oh is it Neat. yeah that's the trilogy i was actually playing that last night with my girlfriend should definitely um, get it all right do 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 Jesus, he's huge. 3,600. He's a big boy. Biggest boy. Big out of 10. Yep. That's all your remaining life. Did you happen to top deck a monster? I do have a monster. I don't know how much this is going to help me, though. Hmm. And you do have one set card. But what could set. it be? Not your mirror force. I know that. Yeah. Probably not... Uh, trap hole because you would have activated it and banished my dude and then I would never have been able to recover him because Cynet Universe is a thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That guy. Drib Dry Brave? I don't know. Ouch. My most of me. My most of me. Actually, wait. Am I dead? Math? I'm almost dead. <laughs> oh, you better not top deck a monster. Not quite. I have top deck, though. The Mystical Space Typhoon! That's okay. I could not activate that. If you summon a... <laughs> I drew that as soon as my extra deck was empty, and I was like, oh, cool. All right. Oh, if I had attacked that with Rebuild Deer, I could have summoned another monster. And Okay. I mean, I'm giving you another turn because I'm a generous master. There you go. That's the way oh. I draw your last pathetic card, Kamina. Oh, boy. This would be real good if I, like, if that deco talker was not on the field. What does this thing even do? Um, gains 500 during your battle phase. Oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I Surrendered to Dr. Invested. Manhattan. That was a surprisingly back and forth duel, though. We may have to do more of these at some point. Yeah, that was actually not bad. Good yeah. game. Either way, you've been here for well over an hour. Normally we would do best two out of three or whatever, but I think I've kept you long enough. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to us chat. It's always fun to talk, even if we can't duel or whatever. You're just, you're just a, a treat to hang out with. Thank you. You need to, you need to, you need to go to Common Cat streams, everyone, when he has them. Go to his Twitter. Follow him on his MySpace. <laughs> I might have one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Friendster? Oh, God, I definitely don't have one of those. Uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> I do have one of those. You do? Jeez, I'm like way behind the times. I don't think I, I think I've like made it. I don't think I've ever used. Yeah, I've only ever had like fast food jobs and then this, and they don't exactly when you're like I, I know how to flip burgers. They're not like ah, let me check your LinkedIn profile, see see how that's working out. <laughs> right. Yeah. They just sort of trust you. Yep. Pretty neat. Either way, yeah. Thank you for coming out here. Always mm -hmm. fun. Until Thanks. next time, everyone. Good luck. And have fun. Oh hey, thanks for watching this far, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. If you've got just another moment, I'd like to thank all the patrons who made this episode possible, but especially the higher tier patrons who actually work unlike draft duels. They are the Highlander, Crazy Gingerman, Davin Crushing, Night Fang, Zero, 1503, Leaf Blady, Chris W, Montry, Austin Glover, Daniel Frowsing, J3 Puffin, Buster Blader, Matt, Lucas Geardis, Michael Tognati, Brian Bruns, Quinn Tingent, Nathan, Dancing Joker, Mr. Eiffel, Emperor Lelouch, Kirvin, Diotic, and King underscore Zirmus. It's thanks to cool people like them that I can experiment with releasing strange and borderline avant-garde episodes like this. 
If you'd like to join them and be listed off at the end of each video, the Patreon link is on the screen and in the description. And this episode's official question of the day is, did you enjoy the draft at the beginning? In the future, should I cut stuff like that or keep it in? Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, stay frosty.